I don't think I'd ever found myself filming a video intro with two fallow bucks behind me fighting and about 80 animals on a deer leg. But here I am. If you want to see how this week unfolds, stick around. I've got uttermost confidence that my rifles are zeroed correctly, but given the chance, I will give it a quick check on some gongs. I would hate to miss a trophy animal based on a knock on a rifle or something like that in transport. meters from the car and down here we've got a heap of animals they're all croaking there's a few big clutters so we're pretty sure they're fighting I don't know if you can hear them over this audio We're just trying to use this grass as cover as we move down towards all these deer. It's pretty sparse back over where we were. You just end up getting busted. set up in our little position. There are deer all around us. A bit of this footage is through the grass because I'm trying to film over there. And I've got two deer just over there having a bloody fight 25 metres away. Just had a bit of a crawl. My mate's tucked up there in the timber. He must have got hungry. The cheeky bastard sent a frame there. He's just thrown me two apple and cinnamon hot cross buns. And I don't know if I can even get across the meter to get them. So we'll just see there's heaps of deer down here underneath us. And a couple over there on the other side of that log watching me at the moment.
my mind's crawling, Dion. That's cold karma for throwing old cross buns at me. He's stuck in the toilet pit. We're just gonna keep moving down here. Really slowly. We've got deer down over this next shelf, so hopefully we can view some more animals. There's certainly no shortage. And that seems to be where all the does are. There's a really nice man-eye buck down here. Big white palms curling at the top. Big guard tines, but we've got a heap of animals between us and it. So it's just a matter of whether we can get down there or not. We've made the decision, we're going to let that big buck down there walk, he's got a big cleft on one side, so we think we might be able to find something better. Hopefully we don't live to regret that. I've been hunting deer for over 20 years and I have never experienced anything like this. Absolutely amazing. We're gonna head over into this gully at the moment. There's more animals there. We haven't even laid eyes on them. We've watched that big buck walk off. And you know what? That's okay. We'll either catch up with him later or find a different one.
We've moved locations. We're pretty sure we're over a lek here. There seems to be bucks filtering in and out all the time. We're just going to prop ourselves up, sit down, see if anything big comes in. We can hear all the does over there bedded down on the hillside, mewing away. They're probably saying, fuck me, fuck me. But anyway, it is the deer rut. No surprises there. There's our deer lek over there. I'm going to try and crawl down to that tree, which will get me about 80 metres away. We'll see how we go. I'm being conservative here. Over on that hillside, there's about 40 deer that I can see. It's amazing how things change. The cloud cover's just blown in a little bit. And this whole little hillside's just lit up with bucks croaking. I can hear two fighting over there. We're in business, so I've made it into this tree. I'm about 80 metres off that main scrape down there, top right of screen. You can probably see the buck croaking. And over in that gully there, I thought there was about 40 deer. There's probably 60. I'm going to be honest, I don't even know how I'm going to present some of this footage, so it'll be interesting how this video unfolds. I've got so much footage. Never in my life have I ever been anywhere like this. It's a bit of a hunter's wet dream to be honest. I'm not quite sure where to point the camera. The rifle, there's probably six bucks down there that on any other property I would have already pulled the trigger on. But there's bigger ones here so we're still looking. For those interested, this isn't a professional paid guided hunt. This is free range from a private property. Big thank you to the cattlemen that did let us into this area. It's uh, absolutely phenomenal here.
it's around the middle of the day and it seems it's siesta time there's a heap of deer down here just asleep still a few noisy bucks I don't know if you can hear that over the audio but we're just trying to ponder what to do We've sat off this deer lack now for about four or five hours. We haven't seen any new animals come in in about two hours. So we're gonna move across to the other side of the creek. There's a heap of females over there calling out. Let's go and see what boys are with them. Holy shit, how's that for a scrape? Big enough for you? Have to be, wouldn't it? We've come round this knoll, so the valley that we were sitting on before, where that little lek was, it's off to our right. We could hear heaps of does over here mewing, so We've gone right back up the hill, looped around, as you can see, centre frame there, there's deer under that tree, top sort of left edge of the frame, there's a dam, there is deer between us all the way to that dam, probably 30 or 40 animals that we can see. If I pan around over here, there are more deer under those stand of timber there, probably a dozen. And then if I go right around there, top left centre frame, there's another dozen deer over there, and they're very vocal. But the interesting thing is, it's not the bucks that are vocal. It's the does that are mewing. So they're keen for the deer penis, it seems. We've also set ourselves up to camp on a big deer stand. There are rub trees and scrapes right through just underneath us. What a terrible spot. Down in front of us here, there's a heap of deer still bedded up. The group on the right, there's three bucks with those. Nothing amazing at all. The group on the left, there's a reasonable Menai fella in amongst them. We're contemplating grabbing a rifle and sliding in a little bit closer. The wind's good. There's not a huge amount of cover in here, but there's enough to slide around on your ass and it doesn't seem to bother the deer too much. They're probably 150 metres away, so we're not miles away from them. We're having some fun stalking around, that's for sure. Here's the game plan. I wanna try and get to that tree there, center frame. The deer are about 90 meters away at the moment. That tree's about another 30 up. Off to the left, about 30 yards, I've got two wallaroos, just to make it a challenge. And down to the right, I've got another dozen deer about 150 meters away, so I'm just bum shuffling at the moment. It's slow, it's a bit hot in the sun, but we're eventually getting there.
holy shit. I don't know if you can tell the camera's shaking. It doesn't matter how many animals you shoot. You get a big buck like that guy in the crosshairs in the middle of the rut with all these animals around you. It gets my heart pumping anyway. There's probably been a hundred deer that have ran off this face after I've pulled the trigger. I've had the big mob in the timber where that guy was and the other one down underneath. So awesome stuff. Let's go and check him out. What an awesome animal this guy is. We have put in quite the hunt to get down on this guy this afternoon. We've probably seen a hundred animals down on this face. We had to get the wind right. We've been crawling around in the tiger pairs on our ass as usual, but it makes it all the worthwhile when you get an animal like this on the deck. As you might be able to tell, we're contouring along this hillside. The sun's about to set. We've looked down beneath us and there's another big mob of deer. So we're just trying to see if there's any other good heads in there. There might be, if there is, we could pick up another one. We'll just have to see. If not, we're going to head up into the mountains tomorrow to chase red deer. Let this area settle down a little bit more after we've centered it up and then come back the next day. What a brutal climb up that hillside. As you can probably see in the camera, I'm sheened in sweat. It's a bit of a grind up there with all this junk on my back, but we're at the car. The bucks are still down there croaking and we'll be back. <laughs> 